Most people in America do not want to look stupid in front of anyone, and yet there are people who are that stupid about how they play with people's lives. The liars of America often work in tandem with each other, and they place themselves in position to try to be in power over someone. The liar of America wants to be in power over someone in that they want to be in power over their heart, their mind, their soul, their intellect, their spirituality, or their body. All of that is immoral completely, regardless of whether or not they're beautiful, a hottie, or not. The truth is, how I look today is none of your business, in any way. What I choose to do for my fashion is not your statement. And what I can tell you is, how you choose to behave today is what people are looking at. When you play into someone's telephone, you violated the law. When you thought you had rights to me, you don't have any at all. But your rights can be taken from you because you are the one lying in America. You are the one thieving from a homeless individual. You are the one transporting yourself into a trek to the prison cell you deserve to be in, whether that's in this lifetime or the next. You see, Jesus Christ might have been something you wanted to talk about with me, but you so fucked it up in trying to do so, I'm not interested in, in talking about it with D. When I make these rhymes, I do it to make up no time. I tell you that you have nothing to show for it. Your lie is that God is in you. I don't see that today. What I see is a million people driving by a homeless person, never willing to stop. And yet there's occasionally an elderly woman who has some money, who has some free time, who has a girlfriend in the car who might want to look well, or someone who carefully and thoughtfully and diligently and lovingly read my presentation sign. I carry my presentation sign the only way that I can figure out how to carry it because of how I live and openly it goes on my car. I come and go from a particular space because of the fact that I purchase from the million dollars worth of vendors in a billion dollar corporation that I like to buy for my dollars that I choose to invest in that local company shop. People who work in retail do not regard <coughs> their positions today. They do not represent themselves in any way. It is a failure of training of every corporation across America that you do not explain to young people and seasoned, allegedly, people that they are brand representatives today. Most of the time, that word brand representative is currently abused by those little fly-by-night companies that are pitching, doing food demonstrations in a box shop, a co-op shop of some kind. That is truthful and it is untruthful. It is the way that things are sold today, absolutely, but it is not the same in marketing or advertising of what brand representation means in any way. It is simply a food demonstrator and you should call it that. People don't like to drive 20-30 minutes to an interview to find out they've been lied to. And openly, people do that. America today is our lawful right to be whatever we choose to be as long as we have the freedom to do that. When you impede someone's freedom, when you steal from them, you take your own freedoms away. Not only do you take your own freedoms away in your heart, your soul, your mind, in the lies you tell yourself, and the smells you make of yourself in front of your family, in front of your friends, who are very aware of how you lied. It's amazing to me how I have family members that I really have had relationships through my entire lifetime who feel that they can lie to me and get away with it. I'm like, motherfucker, I know when you're lying. I even know when my own motherfucking mother was lying. But here's the truth. People think they're getting away with it. They're not, because Jesus Christ is still going to meet them or greet them, or not, at the pearly gates in heaven where Gabriel stands. And Gabriel may ask you, what is your reason for being able to be here? Now the standard Christian reason should be because Jesus' blood died for me. But at the same time, none of us have really had a lot of experience in heaven other than the books that we read about of the people who have died and come back, or what not. The reality is that when my late father was dying, my mother read a book like that to him to help to prepare him for the pearly gates. And thankfully, because of my faith, I've actually had three visitations from my late father in my dreams. And we all know that is possible today. The liars of Satan like to lie, steal, and cheat you and me out of our property rights, out of our possession rights, out of our paperwork rights, which is a major medical malpractice, medical malfeasance, and an illegal act in every way. They really can be put away, but we have to have a force that knows what the fuck to do today. And most of them are too busy at play
trying to be in power over someone, trying to use their opinions instead of laws, and most of them should be de defunded in every way. Frankly, I think their pensions should be removed from them, because why should they get a pension for sitting their ass in a car and doing nothing all day? The liars of America like to harass people, harangue people like me, because they just feel it's best for their community. It's not. You're actually wasting time on people who do nothing wrong most of the time, and you're losing time on finding the shitbags that are killing our people. You're a liar if you're a policeman not doing your job. You're a liar if you don't regard the laws you're supposed to report to and support, and openly you're fucking yourself in front of the United States President, who at the end of the day you report to, who literally can walk into your fucking office there in that little company you call a home or a police box, as what they're called in Japan, and let me shoot you for treason, trespass, and torture. 